What's up everybody? Dog Psychology 101, I'm Josh. We're gonna have a little topic today. Um, we're gonna talk about why are dogs aggressive uh, with each other? And I think we're gonna specifically talk about uh, when this happens upon introducing new dogs to each other. So uh, there's some layers to it, and again, it depends on the temperament of the dog. They can be territorial, there can be possessiveness over a human or a space or a house um, that, that feed into it. They could be nervous or shy, um, but that's, that's the temperamental layer of, of why they may be reacting. But regardless of that, the most common reason is one of the dogs, if not both in, in some cases, are lacking good social skills on how to meet each other. Um, and I'm not talking about dogs who are just reactive right off the bat. I'm talking about the dogs who come up, they sniff each other. Maybe there's there, there's some time where there doesn't seem to be a problem or we don't seem like there's going to be a problem and then it sparks off and then you've got growling, fighting, lunging, barking, things of that nature. <laughs> And a lot of it's because we don't look at the way introduction is done as far as uh, personal space, intensity, energy, excitement, um, the way that we would expect it to be done upon ourselves. And you know, if you pay attention to animal behavior, especially when animals are not influenced by human beings, we all live and behave under certain set of expectations. So what I'm talking about is, is it can be a friendly interaction where the dogs are coming up and maybe one is too wiggly, um, too much in the face, too, too much energy. And they're coming in too close, too fast. And depending on the, the, the recipient, their temperament is going to not enjoy the way it's happening. And then there's, there's a disagreement. This is the underlying cause in most cases. So the temperament of the dog is really not that much of a contributing factor to understanding why it's happening. It, it's important to note that because that tells us how we slow down and what we look for and that's knowing what your dog likes and doesn't like. And if you don't know, if you watch your dog, they're going to show you what they like and what they don't like. But a lot of it's just like with, with humans, I can, I can meet a new person in a very friendly way that is either appropriate or not. I could shake your hand and smile and be cordial and, and, and polite. I could be also polite and friendly, but I could be way too excited, way too intense, way too energetic. I could be touchy. <coughs> this is not what we do. I, I, is, is it weird for me to shake your hand and not let go at a certain amount of time? Can I squeeze your hand too hard? Can I shake your hand? vigorously can I just walk up and hug and touch you can I get in your face you know thinking about the fact that I'm being friendly does not necessarily mean it's being appropriate or normal having a dog you know this is just something you're gonna live with or being aware of it is a big part and and here we talk about natural dog behavior so much this is uh, probably one of the key components to socialization is and this with everything slow down um, got to control the the environment and just don't be blinded by the friendly thing a nice dog can have a bad experience because they're overly ambitious and they haven't been taught to respect space they're not taught to respect space because we don't teach them to because we don't we don't see the importance because it feels good when a dog gets really excited to see you when you come home it feels good for some of us and some of us not but when the dog jumps up and what a human's gonna say gives me a hug. It's not a hug from their place. It doesn't mean it's uh, ill intended on their end, but it's not a hug. Humans hug, primates hug. It's, it's a different intention. It doesn't mean it's a bad thing for the dog. Some dogs it is, it's a dominant behavior. But more importantly, it's, it's really socially, it's just, it's not the proper way. I mean, do you see dogs jump up and put their feet all over each other um, and, and normally it become a good thing 
it's just not a normal way of breeding but we as humans reinforce it we teach it and we come home and we get super excited with the dogs and we have parties immediately which all of that's not it's not a bad thing to do it's just the timing of it you're teaching your dog to to be crazy it's, it's would would you teach your child to greet people this way do we teach them to be crazy when they meet people or do we teach them manners? Do we teach them how to do it the correct way? And um, a lot of this is the same with dogs. And so they translate what we do with each other to what we do with other dogs. And if you wanna take it a little farther, how many of us or how many of you have taken a new dog, a new puppy, and when you see another dog, it's normal. I'm not beating you up. It's just something to be aware of. But you see a new dog that you want to go make friends with and you get them all jacked up and excited. Oh my gosh, there's so-and-so. Oh, say hello, say hello. And we do all of this amping them up. And you're teaching them, training them, guiding them to greet in a way that is not going to be proper for nature. And some dogs are not going to enjoy it or tolerate it. Some are. There's plenty of goofballs and, and super social dogs that we've all been around that they all get wild and crazy and have a good time and there's, there's never altercations. But if you want to understand why there is altercations in, in other areas, this is the underlying cause. Hey everybody, I hope you really will become a patron. Come on, join us. If you're loving our videos and loving our work, our mission is to have happy people and happy dogs and we can't do it without you. Patreon, click below, join us. Help us, won't you? Join our pack. Join our pack!